the plan and the only shadows that we're seeing currently are from the buildings, not a cloud in the sky. We see just over off the horizon again, not a cloud temperatures right around 83 degrees. It's going to be another hot day. It's even going to be another hot one tomorrow. I think the only person that doesn't know that it's going to be fall is Mother Nature. We can see temperatures throughout the valley getting fueled by plenty of sunshine. We see a few clouds off to the west and to the northwest of us. That's going to be making its way into the valley come later on tonight, though we are not expecting any rain for the next 24 hours. A little bit after that, we'll talk about that in just a second. We are tracking some showers just coming across uh, Illinois from Wisconsin border. Now that's going to be making its way into the valley come Friday night into Saturday morning. We're not expecting any major rain chances, just a spotty sprinkle here and there, maybe come Friday evening into the overnight hours, but not going to affect most of us. What we're watching closely is this system making its way through the Great Plains. That's going to be making its way into the valley come the start of next week. We'll talk about that timing just in a second with Future Tracker. We're looking at temperatures still in the low 80s. Cortland right around 86 degrees is the warmest. We're looking at the coolest right here in Alliance just around 79 degrees. So there's still a little bit of variability, but we're also going to all going to drop as that sun sets in a few hours and we'll go to our overnight lows. Te dew points right around 60 degrees, keeping things just on the sticky side. We're still all pleasant for tonight, but expecting that just to jump up to a little bit sticky side on Friday and then Saturday. Some cooler, drier air starting to build into the valley. Going to make things absolutely beautiful beautiful for this weekend. We're tracking some clouds on future trackers starting off our morning and our commute to work. We're not expecting any rain chances until maybe a little overnight. You can see a spotty shower comes 730, but for most of us, we are going to be dry and that spotty shower is just going to be light rain. We're not expecting any thunderstorms and that goes for the entire day on Saturday and into Sunday as well. So you play it. It's going to be the partly sunny skies for this weekend, but what we're watching really closely is just off to the west of us. So if you play it right around Sunday, you can see those showers start to build off to in into Illinois and Indiana, though they won't reach us until the beginning of next week. Tonight dipping down right around 62 degrees tomorrow with the sunshine warming back up into the low 80s. Then for your seven day forecast, well, we are confident that we are going to see some cooler temperatures coming in this weekend. We did leave a 20% chance on there for Saturday, just for the slight chance of seeing a sprinkle overnight on Friday. But the start of next week, the timing of this cold front and this warm front that are going to be making its way through the valley is still yet to be determined. So stay tuned here on WKBN and WKBN.com as we develop more confidence on our forecast for next week. I know those football crews, though, tomorrow night are going to enjoy, once the sun goes down, the mm -hmm. little bit of relief that will come. Definitely. Yeah.